Well, hello, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to the first episode of the Climb Podcast. Thank you to everyone who has tuned in to this first episode. My first guest is Christopher Turner, head coach of Southern University Laboratory School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. For the past year, Chris has dedicated his time towards developing an esports program for his students in the K-12 space. With his work and effort, Southern University recently announced the start of a varsity collegiate program and have named Chris their general manager, uniting his vision for esports from kindergarten to college. I've been following Chris's work for the past year. I hope all of you listening will get to hear the amount of passion and dedication Chris has towards helping his students learn skills that will be valuable for them in the long term. So it's, it, it's pretty interesting because this is, the, I guess, the first time that I guess we've ever talked. We've ever mm. uh, crossed paths, even though we're one I-10 away, right? Yeah. Uh, I-10's I a dangerous place. I hardly go uh, to Baton Rouge and New Orleans, actually. I can understand. Uh, yeah. Especially with all the, the construction on the Lafayette side. Yeah. So it's so it's a bit... It's it's not uh not fun trip <laughs> to me. It's not, it's not man. It's, you know, going going across the spillway, man, is no joke. Is the, no joke at all. Um, mm. So I, I've been absolutely amazed by what you've done in the past year, right? Because mm-hmm. uh, I believe you started the um with, with the with the magnet side, um, in what August of twenty nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Yep. So, so, so it's really, it's really great to see, um, I guess the amount of progress that you've made. Uh, so I mm-hmm. guess to give context to whoever is going to be listening to this. So you're at, uh, I hope I get all the, all the, the, the full title, right? Um, so you're the, the head coach and general manager of both Southern university, uh, just, I guess just recently appointed mm-hmm. and as well as the Southern university, Magnet High School is that the that's the correct name is that the correct full name? It's not a magnet, but it's a it's a laboratory. School. Laboratory that uh, yeah. that's that's what I meant. Um, so, I guess in in listening to um, what your podcast with uh, Generation Esports uh, last night and listening uh, a little bit to your conversation with with Danny, it, I guess it's it's been an entire whirlwind of a of a year for you um just just in terms of just starting out figuring out where to start and from evolving into such a great or the blossoming of a great program uh and you are the first I, i would consider the first uh varsity uh, program in Louisiana. I believe like Tulane had like a varsity team for like a, a small like semester or something. I don't think anyone would count that to the people listening from Tulane. I mean, no, <laughs> uh, I mean, absolutely no disrespect, but you have the pretty much the first varsity uh, program and the first K through 12 uh, and yeah. co- college program. Uh, just, just a sweep all across the board in, uh, in the United States. Um, so I guess what, what my first question would be is what was your original, uh, vision for your program whenever you started? Um, my original plan was to, um, have a, 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 a unit on campus where we can, and I'm talking about the laboratory school, uh, where we can kind of, um, operate as a club and and a uh and have those competitive teams knowing that um it was other competitive high schools across the nation at, at that at that point and so i wanted to bring something fresh to the state uh, i knew you know um I had a few schools here that had you know some 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 varsity i'm, I'm talking i'm talking that k through 12 space that had some varsity teams, but it wasn't pr- presented in the right way. Uh, um, how so? Um, a lot of it, and, and this is this is no no ill intent, but a lot of those programs are student ran. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you go to the college level, a lot of those programs are student ran as well. But it's a little bit more organized, and so it's kind of hard to organize you know, eight through 12 graders. Um, (laughs) So, so a lot of that is kind of, you have like an admin or um, let's say like a 
a club chair that's a teacher that's not a gamer, uh, that's not involved in the space at all. Um, and I was I was just able to kind of be you know involved from that standpoint because I, I'm a I'm an avid gamer. I I try to play every day. Uh, you know that's my stress reliever, man. So uh, <laughs> what's your go-to game? Um, right now, man, I've I've, I've got I play with some older guys in, so I'm not gonna name any names. <laughs> Call of Duty was a little bit too fast for him, so <laughs> we've been playing a lot of PUBG lately, man. And, uh, you tried you know, out the the new map? Yeah, yeah. I haven't got around yeah. to it yet. Yeah, I love it, man. And so, uh, and for me, you know, uh, I, I, I was used to playing COD and Rainbow Six Siege, so PUBG is like slow to me, man. So I, I love it. <laughs> I know. It's like you you're know, like you're waiting around. I walk into the matches with ten or fifteen kills, man. I'm like, man, you know. <laughs> but uh, you know, um, you know, just just having having a you know a person on staff at a school that actually plays, and then then I, from my background, I understood marketing. I understood you know how to present things. You know, uh, always to sum it up, I always wanted my high school program to look at the same level as a, a, a UL or LSU or Boise State are better. And so that's why I set the bar. I didn't I didn't think about, you know, what our other high schools was doing. I was like, we're gonna look like a college at the end of the day. Right. Um, everything that we rolled out was was that way. And, and I was able to do that as well because I'm a graphic designer as well. So the logo, the flyers, the game day, uh, images. I mean, that's that's all me. You know, um, eventually I would like it to be student led, and we're gonna eventually get there at some point. Right. Uh, definitely on the on the digital art side. So, how many years experience you have in uh, in digital media? Man, graphic design. Man, it's it's ten plus years for sure. Okay. Um, and then you know, on top of that, I I'm, I'm a visual artist too, so. I paint, sculpt, you know, I did all that before even dipping into to graphics. Right, right. So, so whenever I look at your your Twitter, um, it, it's amazing to see like the level of vision, a level of thought that you have in mm-hmm. in what you present. And I think that's something that's definitely, I guess, new newer to the. Um, I shouldn't say newer because I feel like I would be putting somebody down if I said that. But in terms of what you're doing and how you're presenting uh, your mm-hmm. school is absolutely amazing. I, it, it's definitely something that I wish I, I would have done or I had the skills to do, uh, I guess, mm-hmm. whenever I was doing, um, whenever I was leading our, our program here, here at uh, UL. But the level of thought that you have, the level of presentation that you have, I can't imagine the impact that would have on on the on the younger kids right because they see themselves and you you have like these great pictures where on i think they're on the the gamer chair and they have like their controller out they're looking directly into the camera I'm like these kids are stars when and you're yeah. presenting them as stars in that way mm-hmm. um in terms of looking at like the competition side so uh, you have uh trey murphy uh who won a- uh, hsel for uh, nba 2k uh, mm-hmm. I, I saw the the rings were cool. Like I, I kept up with mm-hmm. the, the ring process that you guys have done. Uh, and you get to see like the, the trophy and you get you do all the media rounds in, in terms of that media training. Um, mm-hmm. I believe uh, Devin and uh, is it DeWill is how I pronounce his name? D. Willie. D. Willie. Yeah. Um, I just had to so, kick D. Willie out of here. So I got to but they, but they were the the five and six seeds as well for for Madden, right? For Madden, and, yeah. And then uh, Trey, um, or sorry, Tyler. Um, Tyler is what six seven, uh, hundred ninety five pounds. He's what a sophomore, I believe. Sophomore, man. He's not even done growing. Oh my god. Yeah. But, and, and so I believe because of like the way COVID's impacted everything, it's mm-hmm. kind of, it's kind of like a weird, a weird, weird testing ground, right? in terms of like, I guess what you're doing, but that vision that you have is still being presented. And I can imagine that has a significant impact upon the kids that, that you have. And mm-hmm. in terms of just how they're, per- in terms of like how, I guess their parents might uh, perceive everything that's being going on. 
Um, and, and I guess kind of talk about like how, um, I guess that sort of like digital media impact has had an impact up with the, with those kids. Uh, I tell people all the time and branding and marketing is king. Um, all the imagery that we see on our cell phone on a constant basis is clean and straight to the point. Our platforms, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, PC or Mac, it's, it's all clean. It's all like cutting edge imagery. And then so, if I, if I want to build interest from uh, my stakeholders or parents or, you know, students, it has to meet that criteria. So, you know, my director and I, we always had that conversation. If, if we're going to step into the lane of esports, you know, my kids were going to gonna look like, you know, football or basketball down in South Louisiana. So right. that's the way we approached it. You know, like, um, like the imagery that you saw with Troy sitting in the chair, you know, I wish I would have knew Tyler was gonna say, "Hey, hey, coach, I want to go go into esports because I would have had him sitting in the chair too." But you know, my my kids took part in media day uh, with all the other sports, and so we treat them like athletes. They have to hold they 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 have to hold a high standard as far as branding and, and being a part of the, the Southern University Laboratory brand, um, and you know, including you know, keeping the GPA up to a certain standard. Uh, if, if COVID wasn't going on, uh, we had already talked about having our esports kids do do workouts and, and do conditioning, man. Because I mean, you know, that's a big thing in esports now. You know, being healthy um, while playing the game. You know, so um, it really helps, man. It, it 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 sparks a conversation. You know, uh, evidently you you saw it catch your eye. It catches a lot of people's eyes. It it starts conversations. It starts relationships. Um, and I and I just understand the importance of, of great visual. Um, I feel like you can't thrive in this society, you know, and, and in the digital society without having sharp imagery. Right, right, right. It's uh, I, I think of what, what I was trying to say. It, it's I guess it's pretty interesting in the amount of I guess the, the amount of work that you put in to see this all succeed. Right. Yeah. Uh, from listening to other podcasts uh, that, that you've been interviewed for, um, it's you pretty much start out with, well, I guess, literally just a PlayStation, a PlayStation and a vision. I heard earlier that you had to bring in a, a cart uh, and it, it threw me back to like the old days of 20 years ago. <laughs> Uh, yeah. where the, where teachers would bring in uh, the CRTs uh, mm-hmm. just to watch like Muzzy or something like that or to watch watch some sort of, sort of kids show so so it definitely it was definitely uh, I, I, I understand I guess the visual behind all that but I understand like the amount of work that you had to do uh, from that that beginning uh, and in terms of just trying to talk to different sponsors try to raise money and try to mm-hmm. try to convince to convincing parents that this is a worthwhile endeavor to even convincing your own administration that is a worth, worthwhile endeavor. So in the past 12 plus months, you've gone from zero to 60 in, yeah. in a way. And then I could see the background that you have right now. And whenever I get to the YouTube uh, portion of it, uh, everyone will see that sort of visual and even on, on your own social media channels that that sort of visual is, is there that something is being built in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? Uh, yeah. That is that is going to be something special because us here at UL can't say that we've done it yet, right? Yeah. La Tech has their own uh, has their own thing up there in Ruston. Uh, LSU is growing out their their own uh, space slowly, and so and then I can't think of any of the New Orleans schools that are even even touching this right yeah mm-hmm. so you're pretty much the the pioneer i guess it in in all of louisiana t- in terms of, of the scale that you're you're doing it and mm-hmm. it, it's it, it it's absolutely great to see um i guess looking kind of looking forward like what what do you think um well i guess i'll ask that in a sec i so i i was i was digging through your social your social media uh, just a little mm-hmm. bit and I, I saw you were at uh, Arlington, Texas for Esports Stadium Arlington, and that was for the in-game leaders uh, yeah. 
winner yeah. one, right? That was in uh, yeah, that was the one on one, yeah, in, in January. I'm surprised we never ran it. Did we run into each other at that event? I don't think we, we might have had y'all had a table there, right? We had a table, but I disappeared I for I like might've, you might have disappeared. I, I came over and spoke for a brief second, yeah. Um, but even, even at that point, man, all. Like that whole trip was an eye opener for for my director. Like right. that was that was me going to my admin saying, "Hey, what are you doing this weekend? You know, let's take a ride down to Arlington uh, to go to this conference, man. It's a perfect opportunity, to, you know, to see it at every level, you know, K through 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 college." And so, um, you know, that was a pivotal moment for for us as a, as a team because I remember, you know, the ride back him. Like the whole conversation home was, okay, how are we gonna do this? I was like, you know, don't worry about it. I have it mapped out in my head. I already have a game plan. Uh, it's just a matter of us, you know, putting the wheels in motion. And so, um, and 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 thank you, man, for like, you know, noticing uh, what what we're trying to do here. Um, you know, it's uh, I said it earlier. You know, we're we're in the deep 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 ocean floating and. <laughs> You know, sometimes we look around and nobody's out here with us. And, and so uh, to hear, you know, a counterpart and, and knowing what you were able to pull off at UL, man, um, it was it was those programs that I looked at because, you know, just, just going back to what you said, I didn't have another high school to look at in the state. Um, I looked at high schools outside of the state, but I didn't have any any blueprint. All right. Um, um, and you know, we just ask ourselves the hard questions. Like, you know, I, I constantly ask myself if, if I was an esports kid, you know, in, in eight through twelve, I would want my own space. Now, what that would look like, I don't know. Uh, I knew this space space had to be mixed used. Uh, I knew we had to have PCs and consoles. I knew we had to have you know spectator chairs, which you see in the back, um, and it's only a nine hundred and twenty foot square room, and so. Um, you know, all all those visions came after, you know, the the, the end game uh, conference, and so um, I think I think it was just an eye opener. Uh, we met a lot of people and saw different st- different blueprints uh, that they're able to pull off. And you know, I, I, for for me, I think the the room came about when when I saw my kids you know, going into the playoffs and going into like final rounds, like right out the gate. Like, you know, um, kid Timothy is before Troy. Timothy has made it to the, um, to the to the final round. So we have a, a runner up trophy before we even got, you know, uh, the national championship. And just being cutting the edge, you know, I'm, I'm seeing like different orgs do championship rings, you know, I'm, I'm and I'm, I'm constantly thinking, I was a kid, I would love to have me a championship ring from playing esports. And so it's, it's just a matter of building those resources and having those connections and making sure when you're fundraising, you're fundraising for the kid to give the best experience to the, to the kid. Right. You know, right. 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 It's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Cause I, um, cause I, I spoke at the, at the first one that they had in, uh, in August and let me tell you, whenever, wherever I, I do public speaking, I'm up there. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. I, I always go off of visual cues whenever I do one-on-one conversations. And mm-hmm. so wherever I'm up there, I'm just like, I don't know if they like me. I don't know if they hate me. I took off my glasses so I couldn't see any of the audience. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what was going on. But, but it was really interesting seeing the the rest of the panelists and what they pretty much had to go to. Like Texas is definitely – definitely they definitely have a head start in terms of in terms of like what what's going on over there uh Mm -hmm. i guess for the most part i guess ut austin might be the uh the the lone the lone exception because they have um they don't have that staff support and that staff support is critical uh for Mm -hmm. it so it's it's really cool that your administration first of all would would take uh i guess it's for you guys in Baton Rouge, it's it's over a six and a half hour trip. It's a long drive, yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a long drive uh, to get there, and it's a boring drive too. It's just flat, 
it was just flat the whole way through until you get to like the Bucky's uh, <laughs> out there. And yeah, Bucky's was the stop, man. You got, a, <laughs> you got a big drink and some snacks and kept it rolling. I know that's 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 the only thing I look forward to on that drive up there. Um, <laughs> And, and so, like, even getting administration, because I've I've talked to multiple ad- administration from from our university, and I would say if you want to be involved, go to this event, go to mm-hmm. these events, experience something like a dream hack, experience something like an in-game leaders where you have people that talk, right, or a PAX, or or some or some sort of esports events, and mm-hmm. because mainly seeing is believing, uh, yeah, and it's pretty cool that you have that sort of you had that sort of administration impact where like oh my god we have to do this we have to go about mm-hmm. and start investing start figuring out how to, how can we claim this sort of space that we have and you're tackling it from all different fronts you're tackling it from the uh from the social media side and the marketing side you're tackling it to the, the to the competition side um and then that sort of skill development too uh, those media days are definitely going to be helpful regardless of if these students want to go into some sort of uh, either esports or some sort of esports related field or anything else because uh, especially in like in the job market it's mainly how you present yourself how you're able to communicate how you're able to uh, conceptualize like what do you bring to the table and so that sort of impact that you have already is going to pay dividends in the future and that's really awesome to see thank you thank you uh you know it's it's it's, it's, it's just a different time that we're in you know I'm, I'm 36 man so i graduated around 2002 and so you know we were gaming man but we didn't have that platform we, right. didn't, we didn't have twitch we didn't have youtube you know uh, streaming wasn't a thing online play just had just got to the breaking point so you know um i tell my kids all the time like how can you have all this accessibility and and not able to capitalize it's like easy right it's, it's, it's easy and so you know just talking with a parent the other day and you know like you know i'm i'm she's pushing her 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 kid to kind of you know ask me all the questions and you know i don't have all the answers but i find the answers for my students and so you know even with that you know she was like you know i know you're not going to be here for long you know i'm like yeah you're saying that but you don't know my mindset my mindset is like i have a, a mark in my mind where i think the program should be and we're not there yet you know uh, just one of my personal goals in man like i went into this thing saying okay i'm going to build a program and, and I want to Nick Saban this thing, man. Like I, I want some longevity, right? And so I'm I'm not there yet, you know. So uh, I didn't I didn't see the full pipeline coming. I didn't I didn't see the Southern University thing happening. Um, it was just a matter of like putting in hard work and and like the people noticing the, the hard work and, and dedication, like you mentioned before. And I appreciate you pointing that out, man, because it's, it's it's been a lot of long hours. Uh, you know, my wife is like, "Why are you doing this?" I'm like, "Just, just give me, give me a few minutes, man. I think it's it's going to pay off." And you know, I'm starting to see fruits of the labor, and, and like you said, you know, just building those platforms and springboards for these kids to to build a resume at, at an early age, man. And so uh, I think when they get to college, they're going to be pretty ready, um, if not to go into the workforce, but be a monster. Uh, you know, by the time they, they, they're privileged to be a part of a, a college uh, program. Right, right. It's, I guess it's, it's pretty interesting because I'm, I'm 28. Um, I'm getting to the part where just getting out of bed causes uh, injuries. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's no fun, no fun getting old. But it's also interesting because I've stayed in school for, for so long. But yeah. in, in the same, in the same time, I've also, I've also competed uh, mm-hmm. it, starting in, in 2009, um, I started, I competed in Smash Brothers tournaments and that kind of evolved into, uh, like he- trying to help out the community. Cause in Southern Louisiana, we don't get too many opportunities uh, At all. to make it, to make an impact. Uh, yeah. we have to, we have to fight for every single piece of market adoption that we can get. 
Yeah. Uh, and so it takes us down these weird, weird avenues. Um, mm. And so like, so pretty much that that grind you always have to turn off that sort of your, your the part of the, your brain where it's like is this going to be worth it is this going to be worth it for somebody uh is this going to be worth it for me in the long run for for my health for my my sake right and i guess it's an interesting juggling balance between juggling whatever is in your head with whatever is in front of you uh, yeah, because you always you always want to have that sort of future sight you always always want to have that future vision but Ooh. how do you get there and then you always see it's like you can see the end of the road but it's like there's fog that's always covering covering the road right in front of you yeah. and yeah. so so it's it's always pretty interesting to see what kind of struggles uh people have been, been going through it, it may take may take one year right in some cases it may take three it may take five and it's always the part where if you stop today what would be the, the impact of what you've done before and what the impact you've set in motion and you already had that impact on both both ends of, of the timetable um, yeah. so in terms of I guess um, that sort of like future vision that you have uh, say in two years from now two years to five years because uh, obviously the, the esports landscape is going to change uh, yeah. dramatically i think like a lot of colleges because of covid are are looking into doing doing esports uh events i i'd also say what i appreciate is about about your program is that your administration also gives gets that sort of feedback directly from your students uh yeah. it's where a lot of colleges could easily say let's just run this on our own right we don't Maybe, maybe mm-hmm. even if we don't understand the market space, then we can just kind of, kind of do it, and then they'll come. And that's mm-hmm. kind of a weird approach to take. It it's a, it's such. I think it's such a backwards logic, um, but it's pretty cool to see. Like, I guess what you guys are are doing over there, just to see that that level of commitment that you have uh, from your players, because you're putting in that work uh, mm-hmm. for that sort of inclusion uh, to have happen. Um, so in terms of looking at where you're going to be, um, I guess w- when is your first full um, semester for your varsity uh, squad f- at, at Southern? Um, at Southern, I'm, I'm planning to launch in the fall. Okay. Um, that's still, you know, foggy on the street right there, man, because I, I, I don't know what the community is going to look like. So right now, we're, we're just, you know, um, uh, the other day I got 5,000 flyers printed. And so we're going to do a dorm raid. Uh, I, just, I just appointed my president as far as the club side of things. Right. And so um, they're going to do a dorm raid with the flyers. And so we, we did a survey already on campus. Um, and so um, I already got approved for the, for the, uh, the, the, the CSL. Uh, lead and so uh, the collegiate star lead and so um you know we already kids really could go sign up now but i think it's past the deadline um i want to see you know if, if it's a if, if the community is going to be you know 50 100 300 500 you right. know I, I need to see the number um i, I know what games they're they're playing because we surveyed over probably 500 kids out of seven thousand or something, um, I know that it's constantly constant play in the dorms. Uh, I know the community is there, but it's it's all about organizing it. And so uh, I think that's what we are the the, the community phase. And so um, we have a we're part of the SWAC, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. And so right. they have an esports initiative too. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do a Madden tournament. I'm working on um, bringing some virtual expos to the kids as far as like, you know, uh, educating them about what esports is, um, some possible intern um, ships and job opportunities uh, for the students at Southern. So um, I'm happy about that. We're, we're doing walkthroughs, uh, trying to earmark a space on campus where we can kind of recreate what we have in this space at the lab school. Um, and have it talks about multiple like 
um, like pods or like little corners of, of, of gaming and esports throughout the campus. I think that's real critical because, you know, I think everybody, you know, if you're if you're on, on the back of campus, you don't want to necessarily come to the union to, to the big space, you know, so I think it's important, you know, to, to put, you know, three or four computers in the rec facility. I'm, I'm talking long term, but, um, you know, just having those pockets where, where you can kind of congregate practice you know, have relationships. And so um, knowing that we're, we're going to have to attack it from a club perspective as well. And so um, looking forward to like watch parties in the Discord, man, and, and doing right. some, some parties and, you know, all virtual and, and starting, start, you know, start starting, you know, using Twitch and YouTube and doing some live streams, man. I think it's going to be awesome and just bringing that HBCU culture. You know, it'd be crazy if we did a game and tournament and had the band playing, you know. Right. You know, just bringing that full culture, full circle, man, and, you know, adding adding a culture within itself to esports. I, I think that's, for me, that's the most exciting thing. You know, how, how can we bridge that gap between HBCUs and esports, man? Um, and it's, you know, I don't ask to put myself in these positions, but I find myself being in them. And, and so, like you said before, I think uh, in that space, I'm probably going to pioneer that too. Um, I know it's going to be a, a bunch of hard work, man, but we, we're up for the challenge, man. Right, right. That's it, it's pretty cool to hear the uh, I guess the the band uh, the band elements uh, of everything that that's that's going on. Uh, that would be so cool uh, to see, right? To see just that sort of like atmosphere, that sort of. Because like whenever you look at like esports as as a whole, that atmosphere. Whenever you watch like a, a a live event, that atmosphere is what kind of separates the different events from each other. So I'm really rooting for you on, on that. And I guess once this, once we get through the the pandemic, and once you guys like get get the ball rolling, uh, in terms of like what you have, it's pretty cool to see like the level of involvement also that you have with with uh with the students uh in terms of being able to poll and to see who's interested um yeah. so i'm hoping like that from that polling that also turns into some sort of level of, of engagement um as well um yeah that was the plan man from the start and it's like you know um when, when we signed off of everything i knew i was going to be you know you know <laughs> destined for this challenge man because it's, it's a big one uh, I said, man, we got to survey the kids, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna start anything that they're not gonna be a part of. And so once we started looking at those numbers, man, we said, okay, now we have a point of engagement. Let's 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 get some something started. Right, right. Um, one thing that that I was looking at, I guess, to transition a little bit, is whenever I guess I initially contacted you, I was saying that I was looking into doing a YouTube video about how. Louisiana esports, at least on the collegiate side, is pretty underdeveloped. High school, definitely for sure. Uh, I believe we have LH LHSAA, uh, mm -hmm. and they have a partnership with HBO. Man, I've never really seen what they've done. They don't really put out what they do. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure in that aspect. So mm -hmm. it just seems like we're all on floating islands. Uh, Programs in the state of Louisiana is. A lot of administrators or people that are that are over over sections of the of the college really don't understand esports. I uh, I had this conversation a lot, you know, with my peers, and you know, we we hadn't had the conversation, but I think you're going to agree with. I think it's it's an educational piece that needs to to happen with with some of the doorkeepers in our collegiate programs, and so. Um, you know, even, you know, I've having a conversation, I won't call out the college, but, you know, even like the esports, you know, track and our, our potential program bounced around the college, you know, it started in, in athletics and then it went to student affairs and then it went here and went there and then all of a sudden there's no movement. So um, I think finding that right person uh, to lead the program um, is critical. Um, I think creating some type of budget for someone to work with is critical too. Um, you know, some technology that need to be purchased. I mean, you can go get these sponsorships and, and stuff like this. I mean, it might take a little longer, 
But I think just earmarking something, you know, even if it's from a community standpoint where, okay, you know, we're student affairs, you know, we want a team, but let's start in the community piece. Let's set aside $20,000 for the year. That can go a long way when you're talking about like land events and, you know, uh, just student involvement, getting the students involved. So I would, I would definitely want them to learn, you know, uh, of course, take, you know, push community first, um, focus on like internships and careers second and, and third of all, get, in, get into the competition space where, you know, these kids are using their skill sets to win prize money, you know, and, and for a college kid, and you know, like, you know, if we can go to a Rocket League match, three guys, four guys, and we win 15,000, 20,000. It goes a long way. Oh man. Especially how, how much college costs. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's you know, it might level me off for the semester, you right. know? So uh, it's just real critical times where I think, you know, if, if no one has paid attention to, you know, the, the things that we've accomplished here, I hadn't paid attention to UL or LA Tech or, or even LSU, you know, having one of the top rocket league teams in the country. I mean, you know, I think I think it's time for you to kind of perk your ears up and and and, and tune in and start watching and see what's going on and trying to figure out what esports is all about because it's, it's it's just a matter of time. Like I and I think you're gonna agree with this. I can't wait to see the day where like the whole football energy that we have down here goes into esports is going to change the scope. Right. Right. You know, period. You know, I, I think it has the opportunity to. Right. Definitely. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting in terms of just that sort of dynamic and that sort of market adoption as, mm-hmm. as we get more high schoolers going to college and different generations just coming in, then that's kind of where that happens. And so what's cool about your program is that you're able to catch catch them at at that sort of early age to be able to facilitate that sort of knowledge and that sort of understanding of what the space is going to be um Mm -hmm. and who knows where where it's going to be in in four years right or or even even shorter than that the the landscape from when i started this program in late 2017 um i should say co-founded i always say co-founded i, I once i said <laughs> once i said uh founded during a meeting and like the other guys looked at me like what are you doing so i, I always say doing? i always say i don't mean mean that but i, I always say co-founded <laughs> uh from here on out um but it's um but it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting to see like the entire landscape like we've gone to uh harrisburg pennsylvania um a couple of times to compete and and the first time around was was pretty contentious with the university. They're like, "Why are we sending these guys there?" But we're the high, uh, highest, along with Penn State, we're the highest placing student organization in that Overwatch tournament. Yeah. Uh, and so that kind of got the eyes of, of the university. And then whenever I, I bring about the amount of money, I should say the amount of pricing that they've that some of our players have have gotten from these tournaments it's yeah. it's a different conversation it's a different eye-opening conversation mm-hmm. um just to be able to to get that now now it's, it's pretty i guess it's pretty weird because you that administration is obviously the the main and final key component to have everything uh to happen and so like it's it's understandable for some of these like universities that that hasn't taken hold yet um, so, so it, it's a weird thing to where, like, if you don't adopt it, if you don't do it correct, then you're just going to falter. You're just going to fall by the wayside and people are going to see what you're doing as an example, um, of, of how, how not to do it. Right. And so I always say like, if it's, if you're going to do it right, then I would say like, look at somebody like what, what you guys are doing in, in Baton Rouge. Like I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that like. Obviously, every every university is different. Every university has its own unique aspect and, and goals of what what they're trying to accomplish. But in terms See. of being able to get that sort of engagement, you you should be, you sh- you're definitely a model in, in Southern Louisiana uh, to say like this can be accomplished in these different ways. 
Sure. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. Like, you know, um, we definitely pride ourselves on branding ourselves the right way and, and moving forward and, you know, being at the cutting edge of, of whatever is being developed within the state, man. And, you know, um, it's it's still it's still new. You know, it's no um it's definitely a wrong way, but if you're on the track of doing it the right way, it's definitely not like a dead on spot for the right way. Right. You know, so uh, I think we're on track, man, and I, I really appreciate you, you know, noticing us, man, and really paying attention to the amount of work we put in through, through year one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um so we're coming across the end of the hour. Um so I'll give a quick second for you uh, to uh, to say what's coming up uh, for for you in general. I know you have the the Go Play podcast. I heard you're doing season two pretty soon. Mm-hmm. I think you're on episode. You've done 32 episodes in first in your first season. Uh, oh, to me. So that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty good pretty good grind you got going on there. Hope, I'll, hopefully, I'll be I'll be coming up on that on that uh, on that count. For probably, sure. probably not it'll probably be a, probably a while before i get to it uh but um but you have that and then how you can be reached um through your socials um I'll, yeah I'll so, you have yeah. Before. yeah like you said um go play esports podcast um host yours truly uh powered by vertigear uh, which is a great game with chair by the way i'm happy to have him on as a sponsor uh, episode one is, uh, I think, November 2nd. Uh, we're going to go live. We're, we're transformation, like transforming over the video. So we're going to be live on YouTube, Twitch, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter at the same time. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting, man. And, and you know, you can always get the, 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 the voice uh, version of the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google, iHeartRadio. Um, any streaming platform like such as Anchor um, is everywhere, man. Spotify, and so um, happy to do season two, man. Season one was a thrill. Um, we're actually launching the middle school team here at the lab school, so I'm excited about that. Uh, they're actually about to start some tournament play. Um, my high school kids are in the fourth week of competition, so hopefully we can get us another championship ring. And, and bring it home, and and Troy gets to do another media run. Or, or one of the other <laughs> you got you have to do a parade next time. You yeah, have to do like a yeah. Mardi Gras parade. Yeah, that, that, that'll be cool, man. <laughs> yeah. March around the campus or something, man. But uh, but yeah, that that that's happening, man. And and then you know the development of Southern University's uh, esports program, man. I think it's it's, it's going to move pretty fast. The students look like they're engaged. And, uh, you know, just building and adding partners as, as we go, man. And uh, just enjoying every moment of it. Right. Uh, social. Social. Oh, yeah, social, Twitter. social. Yeah, Twitter is at GoPlay, uh, G-E-A-U-X, the way we spell it in South Louisiana. So it's GoPlay E-S. That's on Twitch, uh, Twitter, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn. It's uh, Christopher Turner, man. Okay. Sounds good. I hope everything... Uh... Hope everything on this fully recorded. Uh, <laughs> not, we can schedule another one. I know, I know. I definitely, I definitely enjoy all the talk. Uh, so a, a lot of the reason why I started this was because I've already done all these a whole, whole bunch of different talks. Because I'm, I'm uh, since I graduated in May, I was just like, where's this job? Like, where's this economy gonna go? Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, with everything going on, am That's I true. gonna stick with esports? Am I gonna go into engineering? what am I going to do? What was the path? So I've talked with a bunch of people from the NBA, talked with people from esports. I've talked with so many, so many different people, all, all sorts of encouragement. And so I decided that since I don't know what this outlook is going to be, who knows what's going to happen. And we're we're in such a, such a weird spot. Right. And so, uh, uh, I believe Herb May from the Houston Outlaws and then uh, Sam Hahn from the Golden State Warriors. He, he does stuff with, with uh, Golden Guardians for marketing. Um, they I guess they both kind of inspired me in, into trying to do this sort of like marketing, uh, this content marketing. Uh, I really want to go, I've always wanted to go into the YouTube side and be able to, to figure that out. But a lot of who we are is based off of the environment that that we're in and the conversations that we have 
uh, mm. to be able to to be able to grow and be able to figure out what we want to do. And so mm. this is kind of like my personal project to be able to figure out like who who am I really <laughs> in the in this aspect? Do I take all the, ex- the do I take the experiences that I have and try to grow into s- something different or mm. or where where does the path go? Um, wow. so uh, so I guess we're at the the top we're into the new hour right now so I guess I'll let you go I definitely appreciate yeah, no it Chris uh, no hope I, hope everything goes goes well for you guys if you need anything uh, I guess reach mm-hmm. out uh, thank you all to that's less thing we're not live so I don't know why I'm doing this yeah uh, that's, uh, that's all good man. so so definitely I think, I think it's gonna work out for you man and uh, you know I, I'll get you on the podcast man yeah definitely definitely I know a couple uh, weeks I'll get you on I really want to hear. I want to hear the, the background story and how y'all found the UL. And it's stuff. a, it's a, it's a. We're gonna be there for three hours. You probably need like, you probably special, have to get like your dinner ready. Yeah. It's a, it, it's pretty pretty crazy. I want to get Jansen on it because he he was also one of the, the co-founders. Um, yeah. But it's I, I I don't I don't know. Uh, I don't I don't know if he likes to go on like sort of like media channels yeah. and that sort of thing he's a, uh, he's a, he's a true gamer he's a true gamer yeah. uh, I'll edit <laughs> Jansen I swear I'll edit that part out for you um, <laughs> but it but it's uh, it's definitely a long interesting ride I definitely want to do it in season one uh, yeah. and I definitely knew that I wanted to, to go out uh, over there uh, last mm-hmm. year and I kind of all felt through literally I think like the week that we're trying to schedule something or I know Cody was trying to schedule something with, with you guys. Yeah, Cody, yeah, uh, yeah. I, th- I think like he was, he was unable to do it. And then I had, I pretty much w- was at the point to where like I was in danger of not being able to graduate. Yeah. Uh, so with, you need with, to check out and focus on school with my doctor. Yeah. So after, yeah. after we did Swampland, I was just like, I'm done. I'll, yeah. I'll help usher and I'll help talk to administration but in terms of being able to do every step of the process, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. I couldn't. I had to tap out. Yeah, I definitely understand. Man. So it's uh, <laughs> so we'll, we'll work something out, man. Even if we got to do like <clears throat> a two or three part. Thing. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. But it was it was nice, man. Keep in touch, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Good luck. Good luck with everything going on. Uh, we're I, I'm pretty excited to see what you what you guys are going to come up with in the future. Uh, I'm jealous of of your graphics. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to boost it up whenever I do the, these videos. Uh, so I'm definitely, it's cool, man. Definitely looking forward to see what you guys do. So yeah, definitely awesome. appreciate it, Christopher Turner. Appreciate it. Yeah. Until next appreciate time. You, next time, man. Take care. You too.